Hello, I'm Melanie King. I'm a PhD student at the Royal College of Art and I'm going to be talking to you today about how to make analogue photographs with Cathanol Developer. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to load your film onto a spool and I'm going to be using uh, a piece of already developed film to help you do that. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do today is to spool this onto your reel. So you find those triangular points there, you put the film in, so this is an already developed piece of film that I don't need, so you put that um, into those nibs there, through past the ball bearings, and then you should just be able to neatly roll that up, just like that. So once you've rolled your film, you can put the spool into the tank. Um, and you're doing this all in the dark, of course. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make 300 millilitres of water in a jug. I'm going to measure out is 90 grams of soda crystals, so I'll do that now. So now that I've measured out those soda crystals, I'm going to pour them into the water. And it's really important for these to be dissolved first. So this actually takes quite a while to dissolve, so um, make sure it's all fully dissolved before I do the next step, otherwise it won't work. So while I'm stirring this, I'll just explain a little bit about the soda crystals. So the soda crystals actually reduce the temperature by quite a lot, so what you want to do is start with temp a water temperature that's really high. So while we're waiting for the soda crystals to dissolve, uh, you can measure out your vitamin C. So I'm just using these fizzy vitamin C tablets and we want 9.6 grams of these for the uh, medium format film. And these are about 4 grams each, so I'll do 1 which is 4 grams. That's actually come out as 8. So once your soda crystals have dissolved really well, you can then put your vitamin C tablets in. So we're putting the vitamin C tablets in and it'll start to fizz, so I'll just show you how that works now. See it's also turning a yellow colour. And you want that to um, dissolve really well before you go on to the next step. I'm then going to pour out 24 grams of coffee. We're going to pour the coffee straight into the vitamin C mixture. And it should go quite bubbly just like this. So now we've mixed in the coffee, we're going to top up to 600 millilitres. Once you've mixed that really well, you can then pour directly into the development tank. So you want to leave the mixture to stand for one minute and then you invert every 30 seconds for 15 minutes. So you can see I've got my timer on my phone and I'm just counting down the first minute. So one thing that you can do is uh, use salt water instead of fixative. You need to leave it for about 12 hours. Uh, another thing you can do to stop making fixative so toxic is to put copper in with the fixative and that uh, attracts the silver particles away from the copper which means that less goes into the water system. Today that I'm using old fixative from earlier on in the week, um, so I'm just going to use that until it's exhausted and then I'm going to put the copper in with that so less bad stuff goes down the sink. So I'll show you my results later on today.